After nearly 40 years on the endangered species list, the Little Mariana fruit bat, along with 21 other species, is declared extinct by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. It's a wake-up call for Department of Agriculture Division of Aquatic and Wildlife Resources biologist Anthony Tornito. I think it is um, a call to action not only for us as um, Go the government, but also to the citizens of Guam and all of the Marianas that, um, you know, these species that are genetically unique to this region, um, once we lose those genetic lines, you know, very which are very unique um, because this is also an endemic species, meaning it's only found here, once we lose those genetic lines, they're gone forever. DAR program manager Jeffrey Kitigua says the introduction of brown tree snakes and hunting led to the population's decline. Predation by the brown tree snake was one in particular. Um, and then, you know, when firearms was introduced into our community uh, in the early 1900s, there's, there was the, um, you know, the human consumption component. So, you know, there was poaching, or not poaching, but there was just hunting of the, of the resources. And, you know, back then there was not import goods. You know, the, our ancestors did not have the luxury of driving to a Ganya and ordering a, a Happy Meal. You know, they had to go and feed off from the land and the ocean. The last known sighting was 55 years ago at Taragi Beach, a hunter shooting what may have been the last little Mariana fruit bat. That was the last photo documentation taken from it, was from that. Uh, but they didn't realize that, you know, it was the, and, and back then there was no, you know, Endangered Species Act. It didn't exist then here on, on Guam. So there was no really true mechanism to protect them at this, uh, during that time. It's why these experts are emphasizing the importance of conservation to protect other endemic species nearing extinction, like the threatened Fanihis or the Mariana fruit bat. What's been more of a concern from us is now with what we're seeing in the island with development you know that development creates habitat loss uh, so you know one of the things that we we were huge highly concerned is that we're not displacing a lot of fruit bats out there and they're moving into areas where they can be very vulnerable to poaching or to you know being hunt uh, getting gu fired, gunned down. These bigger flying foxes are not to be confused with the Little Mariana fruit bat, but the recent delisting is a wake-up call that such a loss could happen to the Fanihis. As a, someone who also is a community member, we can't just rely on the natural resources agencies and whatever agency, right, to manage the species. Us as a community have to support not just the management um, implementation or man management um, aspects for the species, but also to kind of um, help these species for their benefit, for our benefit for the future, to make sure we can ensure that these species um, can live into the future. And that's, um, like Mr. Kitagwa said, um, just planting native trees and um, you know, being aware that they exist, and I think that's a really important issue. An important call to action so the Fanihis can thrive.